put on play, 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 put on play, 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 put on play, 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 put on play, 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 put on play. Long time coming, knocking on the bottom of my feet from running. Cataracts on my eyes from hustling, going from buying to selling to customers. Run up the business, God is my witness. Sun up to sun up from under the sun that we maxing our limits. My mind running like Tom Cruise on an action movie. Moving a the mission, they say that I'm tripping. I've been told I need a vacation, I'm finessing a visit. First class, my feet up high in the air on business. Yeah. Travel the city, your city ain't working, it's all for nothing. She told me don't let up, it's on us to make it, it's on us to crush it. Now it's gonna cut. YouTube, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video with your boy K O. We are out here. I don't remember the name of this place. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, but it's uh, it's out here in Albany, Georgia. Uh, I want to say it's like paper rolls, but at the same time, I don't know. The doors are open. They just finished live loading me, um, so it didn't take too long. Then I got here. It is 12, a little after 12. I got here at. 11 maybe like a little after 11 my appointment was for 11 30 uh so it took about i say about an hour basically um but when i booked this low it said 40,000 pounds but from what i see on the uh paperwork the paperwork only said 11,000 pounds so hey your boy is not complaining i'll come show y'all real quick before i uh, seal it up so when you come in you come in right there that's the entrance right there come to the right and then you go to the door right there and uh you can go to that door well they got two doors but i went to that door right there you press the little buzzer and she'll come to the door and uh i guess maybe they already know they asked me for no load number or nothing she just asked me did i work for snyder and was i going and where was i going so that's all they asked um they load you up you have to back in uh chalk both tires and then they load you up and then she brings your paperwork she brings your paper out paperwork out while he's loading you so um you already had the paperwork in the seal they give you the seal to take to the paperwork so not bad but here it is right here yeah it's paper rolls so i don't know if this is actually heavy or not from what it says it is not heavy so <laughs> it say eleven thousand. i don't see a weight on these no yeah i don't see a weight so i can't really tell y'all if that weight on the paperwork is accurate or not uh i hope it is so because <laughs> i'll take eleven thousand over forty thousand any day so but we gonna see let me go ahead and get up about this hold on y'all put y'all down let me do the booty let me put this seal on all right y'all so we're all sealed up we are ready to roll i'm taking this load up to i think the dude said it's pronounced mahopney mahopney pennsylvania to the project and gambro up there it's up there by uh Tunkinock, pa so not far um so we gonna go ahead i think i still have seven seven hours and 45 minutes on my clock so uh, I won't get most of it done, but I'll get a good bit of it done today. Finish it out tomorrow. My goal is to make this make payroll. I wasn't really finding anything, uh, to be honest. And this popped up yesterday, and I think like yesterday morning. And I was like, man, I don't really see nothing else. I was trying to wait to see if that Perry is gonna pop up. But I'm like, it's either I keep waiting and nothing pops up, or I just take this. This low pan like almost 1700. So it's not a bad load, to be honest. To go like 900 miles. It ain't the greatest, but obviously y'all already know your boy live in Florida, so coming out of Florida, it's always gonna be a headache. So you gotta do what you gotta do. So, but uh, this is actually my first day back since uh, I think Tuesday. Was it Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday was my last day working. So um, I did get my dentist appointment done. They doing Invisalign. I ain't gotta do braces, so that's clutch. And then after that, I went to the car show it wound up getting uh canceled well it didn't get canceled let me not say the cancel well technically it did but um they had too many people at the car show fire marshals came and shut it down before while i was waiting in line so i didn't even get to go in the car show so that was a waste of time <laughs> but we did go to the little food trucks out there and see me if y'all never been y'all check it out it's pretty clutch um bunch of different stuff it wasn't what i expected i expected a lot more a lot of that stuff the same kind of food but nonetheless it was good 
So a time was had, which is all that matter. And now we back at work. It is currently Monday, 12, about to be one o'clock. So I'm gonna go ahead and head out. Oh, for people who leave these negative comments and comments about politics and all that in the comments, it will be deleted. <laughs> This this ain't a, this page ain't about politics and all this. People been leaving comments about politics and all that. Listen, this ain't the page for that. This ain't that. So it will be deleted. And if you keep posting it, you will be blocked. That's it's plain and simple. Like all the negative stuff in the comments, it ain't necessary. And it will be deleted. Like I don't have time for it. I'm not gonna let you talk down to me and talk to me crazy for one. And I'm not gonna let you talk crazy to other people. I don't see the point. It's social media. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all be getting all in your feelings over social media. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. You do not have to comment to everybody's comment. Some of y'all do that. I don't understand why. But hey, you ain't got to. And if it's negative, it will be deleted because I don't I don't like all that negative drama and extra going back and forth in my comments. I'm not with that. I don't do it, so I don't expect y'all to do it. So we adults, most of us, I would hope, and we grown men and women. It don't even be the women, it be the dudes. That's the crazy part. Y'all be acting like little kids. I don't understand. Get it together. I'm gonna tap in with y'all. Oh, I did get fuel. Uh, $333, I filled up. Um, I got it for $369, so that was the cheapest along my route up until I get, I think, to Virginia. I'm gonna get it for like three, I think 358 or something like that. So um, I got enough to get me up there. I don't think I'll make it there today, but I might get close and I'll get it tomorrow. So I'll tap in with y'all tomorrow. Oh, let me show y'all something real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. I had to catch y'all up since I ain't been out in the truck. If I sound out of breath, it's because I am out of breath. So, any of my people that's interested, they have this jump rope. So, can't really see the screen. Hold on, let me turn it all around. See if I can see it, get it better. So, as y'all see, they have this jump rope. And, oh, it's upside down. There we go. I'm tripping today, y'all. So, it tells you. Uh, you put your weight in the left corner. It tells you how long you've been jumping, um, the time-wise. It only counts when you're actually jumping, not just counting just to count. And then it tells you how many jumps you did in the right corner. And then it tells you at the bottom how many calories you burn. So, real clutch. Um, I seen it on somebody I follow on Instagram. They're doing like a thousand jump challenge, thousand jumps a day. I seen one person doing like three thousand, one person doing a thousand. Me personally, <laughs> I'm gonna start out with a thousand. I did a thousand. It only took like six minutes actually. So I thought it was gonna take a lot longer, but a thousand jumps ain't what I thought it was. I thought it was gonna take me forever, but no, it took six minutes. So, but it's something you know keep you active. I did it while I was getting loaded. So. Hey, keep me active, burn some calories. So anybody interested, I think I got I got that off Amazon. I think it's like 15, 20 bucks. But um, if anybody interested, y'all can y'all can find it on there. I forgot the name, but I can definitely actually I'll pop up the name of the jump rope right here. And uh, that way, if anybody interested, I'll probably put the link in the description for that jump rope as well. So if anybody want it, they can get it. But uh, anyway, y'all, appreciate y'all for watching. All my new people, thanks for watching. I'm going to catch up with y'all when I get to my fuel stop. Stay tuned, y'all. That is 
the cheapest that I've seen for today. Well, the sheets told me that it was three forty-nine when I checked it this morning. But if y'all don't know that app, the Wex app thing, it changes. So I checked it early this morning, and I should have checked it again because that price that they told me definitely was not right. So it ended up being. It said 349 this morning, but then when I got over there, they saw it say 374. So that definitely was a lie. So, but it is what it is. Uh, I just filled up. Uh, I'm just take my 30. I, I think I can make it without taking a 30, but to be on the safe side, I'm gonna just do my 30 and get it out the way. Uh, right now, GPS, I'll get there at 355. So. I'm just trying to be there before, what? Gotta be there before seven, um, so I can make payroll. So I'll probably get there around like four. It's currently about to be 12 o'clock, so I got like four hours to go. So, not bad. It's been a nice chill day. It was snowing a little bit earlier, cause it was like, when I woke up, it was like 20, 29 degrees or something like that. And I was like, dang. I thought we was in the clear for this cold shit. Like, it's been warm lately back to the cold right now it's currently it says it's 44 degrees but it's the wind chill that makes it feel so much worse out here like it's windy as i'll get out and of course i got a light load and my next load is light too it's my next load i'm supposed to be five thousand pounds so but anyway y'all uh i'll tap in with y'all when i get over to this uh delivery i should be there super soon but to y'all it'll be like a second so catch up with y'all What's up y'all we have made it to Mahopni Mihopni PA I think that's how you pronounce it me Mahopni Mihopni I don't fucking know country told me the name of how to pronounce it right but I don't remember I think I said it right so hey we're close enough uh, but anyway y'all just picked up my empty trailer uh, drop my loaded so if you've been over here it's literally down the street from the uh the Tonkanok my bad it's literally down the street from the Tonkanok uh terminal literally so if you ever come here it's down the street that's where uh Snyder's yard is at and uh just go down that street make a right at the light and you are good to go so uh once you made that right at the light you good to go go down made that right and then made that first right you'll see the guard shack and then you just go in give me your paperwork you gotta have on a safety vest and all that so this load pretty easy they sign your paperwork up there you gotta slide your tandems um other than that it's pretty much same shit like all the rest of these places so quick in and out process um so they give you she gave me like three trailer numbers to pick from but uh one of the trailers i don't even see here so i don't know so i just grabbed the trailer just to hurry up and get up out of here i still got two hours and 10 minutes on my clock so i'm gonna try to get as close as i can to my next pickup because i think it's like three hours away from here so i'm gonna try to get that uh well try to get as close as i can i picked that load up it's supposed to pick up tomorrow at 16 30 um super late i'm gonna try to see if i can pick that up earlier i don't i ain't trying to wait till that late unless i have to it's a dropping hook so hopefully they quick i haven't read the reviews i don't even know where I, well where am i going roller oh i'm going to new york well i thought i was picking up in pa so i'm going to new york i thought i was picking up in pa <laughs> uh rotor rotor dam new york this load is supposed to be super light it's supposed to be like five thousand pounds so it's paying like 17 something this load right here i just did was like 16 something so i'll probably only be at like 29 
nine or something like that for the week. So nothing special this week. Paycheck probably be like fifteen hundred to be honest. Maybe like between like fifteen and eighteen, something like that. So, but anyway, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and head up out of here and try to get as far as I can. It's currently five forty two. So I'll tap in with y'all tomorrow. And let y'all know what happens. Unless I get fuel. Well, no, I already got fuel and I'm I still got three four. So yeah, I won't be getting fuel until after this pickup. So I'll tap in with y'all tomorrow when I get to this pickup. So stay tuned, y'all. What's up, y'all? Checking back in with y'all. I'm out here in Rotterdam, New York. Just got loaded. So, this place is confusing as shit. So, if you ever come here, the place is not going. Like, it says... Uh, let me get y'all the actual name of what this place says. Because I was sitting here riding around so freaking confused. They have signs, but the signs say something completely blue. Let me get y'all the name real quick. <laughs> Ooh. Irvin's consumer Irvin's consumer products is what you're gonna say. Um you'll see they have little green signs. It's hard to show y'all because they're so small. Um but I'll show y'all when I get back over there. Cause uh, it says unlimited. I forgot what the name drops unlimited or something like that. You go there and check in and then they got a sign in there that says urban. They don't say that they the same place on the little sign. They got two different signs. One says drops unlimited and then one says Irving. So I'm thinking they two different places. They the same shit, but you wouldn't know that because it's two different signs. So, um, but you have to go in there. It's a 310 number. You give them the number. <coughs> I was supposed to be a dropping hook. I got here. Uh, luckily, I got here early because she said um, it's currently it's one fifty two. I got here a little after one, and she said that she's like, "Do you still have an MDM?" I'm like, "Yeah, I, I never dropped it because I, I didn't know where to go." And she was like, "Well, good. We don't have any empties, so we're just gonna live load you." So they live loaded me. And they live, they loaded me in like thirty minutes. So not bad. It's supposed to be five thousand pounds. I don't know. Let's see what it is. HDX paper towels. So I mean, it might be five thousand. Got my seal right here. I'm not gonna seal it up till I get the paperwork. But as y'all see, it says paper towels. So I'm taking this down to uh, Home Depot. I believe, yeah, I'm taking it down to Home Depot. So it's supposed to be like seventeen. They little pay like seventeen hundred dollars or something, like almost eighteen, something like that. So, not a bad load, especially if it really is five thousand pounds. Then shit, it's gonna be a great load. But I gotta figure out which way I'm gonna take back down because the way I came up here, I came up eighty one, it hit eighty eight, it took eighty eight across, which is no tolls. Um, but the way my GPS telling me to go down is to go down 95. Y'all already know 95 is all tolls, especially up here. And my GPS, my GPS tells me the amount of tolls. That shit like $154. So I don't know. I'm going to take that way. I'll go back the way that I came. Uh, cause I'm going to just drop this tomorrow. Cause it's like 11, I think it said 1106. I'm going to just say 1200 miles. It's 11 something, but I'm going to just say 1200. Um, I know it's not the greatest rate for all the people that like to, you know, talk they 
talk their trash, especially on TikTok. I had more press yesterday. They told me that I was the reason drivers like me is the reason why the rates are the way they are. I don't know how because I work for a company that got contracted freight, so I don't know what contracted freight got to do with the spot market. But hey, and I run off a separate load board that ain't got nothing to do with them. But that's what people like to say. But it is what it is. I still made my money. And I ain't complaining, so it is what it is. I let people feel like they right. Cause they was pressed about that load that I did from Iowa to Florida. They paid twenty five hundred dollars. And people's like, Oh, that's a dollar a mile. And I'm like, I think y'all got Idaho and Iowa mixed up. Cause it's not twenty five hundred miles to get from Iowa to Florida. It's actually like twelve hundred. So that load paid over two dollars a mile. But People don't do their research. He ended up apologizing. I guess I may have feel dumb because I'm like, bro, what like what are you calculating? Because that's not the same shit. But it is what it is. People be so pressed. They don't even do their research. They just speak before they do anything. Anyway, y'all, I'll tap in with y'all. I know I'm about to get fuel. I still don't know which way I'm going to take. So, oh, wait. When I get over there, I'm going to, because you got to close the doors. You get loaded over here, and then you got to go drive back over there. It's, it's literally right down there. Uh, so, when I go over there, I'm going to show y'all what the sign say so y'all know if y'all ever go there what to look out for because you're going to be confused as hell like me just riding around this place, unless you've been here. But, anyway, I'll tap in with y'all when I get over there. Stay tuned, y'all. All right, y'all, so as y'all see, it says distribution unlimited. So that's the place y'all will come to for the, if you have a pickup out here and it says Irving, it's inside this building. It says driver check in, you literally go over there, right over there, you'll see a door. Go in there and give them the number and then they'll tell you where to go from there. Um, if it's a drop, it's supposed to be a dropping hook, but like I said, they didn't have any MBs, even though they got an MB sitting right here next to me. That trailer is definitely empty, but, um, it is what it is. All right, y'all. So after I picked that load up, the paperwork, the bills, the shipping location said Massachusetts. Uh, I think Wake Westfield. I forgot what it said. I should have took. I should have recorded before I took the paperwork back. But it said Massachusetts, and I'm like, this load is supposed to be going to Georgia. So. I go back in, I ask her, I'm like, uh, this low going to Georgia or Massachusetts? She looked in her system, she said Massachusetts. And I'm like, okay, I was supposed to be going to Georgia. The pickup number was correct. So she was like, you don't have to call your dispatcher. So I called Snyder. Um, it took a while. Uh, he had to get an answer from whoever. So he put me on hold. It's windy out there. He put me on hold as he called or well, messaged whoever he messaged. And um, they remember I told y'all they asked for a 310 number. So the 310 number that they gave me was actually supposed to go to Massachusetts. So Snyder basically in my notes gave me the wrong pickup number. So now I had to go back inside, give her the number that he told me to go check for. It was off by two numbers. So uh, instead of ending, my last pickup number ended in 38. This one ends with 36. So somehow they got that mixed up. Cause I'm looking, I'm like, uh, that shit definitely said Massachusetts. But here, as y'all see, I'll show y'all this lay down. As y'all see, that says Lake Park, Georgia. So, but my other one definitely said Massachusetts. So, make sure y'all look at these freaking uh, places on your bills because had I never looked, that load would have been going to Mass. That lo that Massachusetts load would have been in Lake Park tomorrow, and that's probably where the confusion would have came when I took that load there. And they looking at the paperwork like, ah, uh, this ain't for us. So I'm glad I checked that out. But whoever load this is, I just got them loaded because now I have to disconnect from this trailer. Um, this is the trailer I had, so now I'm gonna have to disconnect from this trailer. I'm gonna put the seal on it because they gave me a seal when they loaded it and this is my actual trailer I'm supposed to be picking up right here next to it so I basically wasted two hours here got live loaded with a load that ain't even mine <laughs> that's crazy two hours to get loaded with a load that ain't mine so it is what it is it's still the same weight it's uh 5900 pounds so still super light it just sucks that you know i could have got down the road more than i did than i will because that's the seal right there 
So I'm gonna go ahead and seal this one up. But that's somebody's load going to. It's going to Home Depot, but it's going to Home Depot in uh, Massachusetts. So I help somebody out because this is already loaded for them <laughs> versus mine, and mine is already sealed as well. So I don't know if it's the same product, but it's already sealed. Seven eight two zero. So. I'm going to go ahead and uh, seal this up, hook up to this trailer, and uh, get up out of here. Hopefully, everything else with this trip goes well. But, yeah, definitely make sure y'all check y'all bills, man, because that could... Because sometimes these paperwork do say something different, because I've seen places say a different address or a different city, state, but normally it says bill to. So... This one actually says ship to. That's what that's what drew a red flag to me. So I'm like, ah. Uh. And then the product number was different because they gave us a product number in the notes as well. So none of the numbers made sense except the pickup number. So yeah, definitely make sure y'all do that. Y'all look at this stuff because man, that could have went horribly wrong. And I would have been in Georgia with a Massachusetts low and probably whoever. They probably had the thing switched in the system. Whoever had that Massachusetts low probably went to the Georgia low. So that would have been a whole whatever. I wouldn't have took the shit back. That wouldn't have been my problem. But <laughs> it is what it is. I'm going to tap in with y'all when I get feels. So stay tuned, y'all. What's up, y'all? Checking in real quick. Got fuel out here in Ruth Glen, Virginia. Uh, three hundred twenty-seven dollars, uh, eighty gallons, four hundred nine. The uh, the discount this week is three no thirty thirty-three cents. It's a discount, so I got thirty seventy-six. I just got enough to get me down to like the Carolinas, uh, where I think I can get it for three forty-nine. I think that's what I seen in South Carolina. So I'm trying to get myself down there. And then I'll just fill up there to get me the on the rest of the way. I think I got like 600 miles to go. I wound up shutting down early because I didn't want to drive all night and be on the night schedule. So I shut down early and now I'm up and at it. So I tap in with y'all. Uh, probably want to get to the next fuel stop. So stay tuned, y'all. I'm out here in St. George, South Carolina, 346.99, 349. So that's the cheapest out here. So. I just filled up, so I have 324 miles to get to my delivery. So I will tap into it, y'all, when I get over there. So stay tuned, y'all. You too. What's up, y'all? Checking back in with y'all. I am out here at Home Depot, Lake Park. I've been here before. I've never delivered here before. So it's my first time actually making a delivery here. This place is confusing as shit. She told me to park it in yard five, five something. I don't even know where the hell that's at. That's at 3,000. The first spot say six. So I'm like, okay, bet. So it must be the other spots. That's say 800. So you got two different 800s. I don't know. I'm just dropping it. They got yard dog. They can figure it out. Fuck all that. So <laughs> this load is done now. Finally, it's currently Thursday, which is why y'all did not get a video today. I thought this load was going to be done a lot earlier than it is. Which is on me. And yesterday, y'all remember my little mishap with my loads getting mixed up. But had I known that my load was loaded yesterday early, I don't want to pick it up early, to be honest. I had my time back at like 7 o'clock yesterday morning. But I didn't get there till 1. But I wasn't supposed to pick up till 4. But hey, it is what it is. Shit happens. But this load is finally done. This load paid like 1700 coming down here to Lake Park. It was actually an easy load because it was only 5,000 pounds. So that's the only good side of it. So that load is my last one. Well, no, actually, I did book two more loads. Um, I have the same load going up to PA again on Monday. But um, I booked a load from Lake Park tomorrow. Uh, not Lake Park. I'm tricking. Jackson, Georgia, going to Tampa. So it's my first time doing a delivery in Tampa. It actually delivers to a Sam's. Say it's a live unload. I've never seen that. So 
And I know exactly where this, this sand is at because my boy's shop is down the street. So I'm curious to see how this going to go because most Sam's are not dropping hooks. I mean, they're not live on loads, but they tell me I got all day Saturday to deliver it. So I'm picking this load up tomorrow. We're going to go there. So we're going to try to figure it out. But this is the last load for this video. Y'all get this video on Monday. Sorry that it's late. Let's get y'all up. He words. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure out a keyword. Appreciate y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notifications so y'all don't miss none of your boys' videos. Love you guys. Y'all be safe. We'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.